I'd make them wish they never clapped eyes on Anders Duplessis. I'm sure they already feel that way, aren't they? Feel like going there and ripping their bloody heads off. I don't think that's such a good idea. The police only released us on the condition we don't set foot on Leopard's Den land. So what? So no one wants to be jailed, though. Oh, what are we going to do? Fight. <sighs> Haven't we just done that? And unless I'm very much mistaken, lost. Well, they may have won the battle, but we can still win the war. Please. OK, no more fighting. Had enough casualties. Oh, Caroline needs to see a doctor. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about me. Now, I'm sure you can do a wonderful job sewing me back up, Alice. I'm a vet. Well, imagine I'm a crocodile, then. Go on. Right, I'll get my bag. What the hell do you want? You've got a nerve coming here. All right, Doug. What do you want? I brought your cheetah back. We'll bury her somewhere out in the bush. She should be buried at Leopard's Den. <laughs> that won't be possible, I'm afraid. Place the rest of the animals in temporary pens near the house. When you've got somewhere, you can come and get them. But we're banned from Leopard's Den land. There won't be any trouble if you come and get them. You have my word. Your word? All this trouble, the heartache. Is it really worth it? For Afrospec? For you? I have a job to do. There you go. Thanks. Sorry we're all back for Tani. Ah, it's no problem. Yeah, it is. We've got a family to look after, a business to run. It's... Alice is right. Once we've buried Jana, we should start thinking about finding somewhere more permanent. Where? Well, if it's any help. I spoke to your great-aunt Georgina yesterday. And I thought things couldn't get any worse. She's not coming, is she? She was adamant that we should all go to England and stay with her. She has a very big house, and it wouldn't cost a penny. We could stay for a couple of weeks or a couple of months, just until we get something sorted here. I'd rather roast in hell. Well, I'm sure you will, Anders. I don't want to go to England either, and I told her so, but... It's an option for everyone else. I don't believe this. There's no way I'm going. Let her go. She just needs space. Come on, let's go. And do what? We've got animals to relocate. Why don't you take Georgina up on her offer? Not without Anders. Well, with them then. <laughs> Anders in England. Shopping in Kensington High Street, travelling on the tube. It would kill him. Well, it not have to be for very long. Until your injuries have cleared up. Think of it as a holiday. No, Anders doesn't do holidays, and I'm not leaving him. OK, I think I've done stitching here, but let me take a look at this while I'm here. You see? You make a wonderful doctor. <laughs> and what about you? Me? Yeah. You're pregnant, you have Charlotte to consider. Wouldn't you welcome a little stability? He is home. Charlotte can't remember a time before Africa, so I... What's the matter? Caroline, these wounds are infected. thinking about Georgina's offer. What? Why would you want to think about that? Because we lost our home. Just think about it, Dup. 
Why don't you think about this? We storm leopards den and evict the vermin. I wish it were that simple. Well, if we have to, we buy another reserve. That could take months in the current climate. England's not that bad. It's got great pubs. I don't care. It's small. It rains. There's nowhere to park. In England, I'm just a drunk old man. And here? Here, I'm a drunk old man with a sense of purpose, or of history, of belonging. Would you put an African elephant in a British zoo? If it were an endangered species. Is that what we are now? Yes. Okay, cool. Thanks. Go check it out for me. Hey, guys. How did it go on at your end, eh? Hey? You see off the bulldozers? Don't ask. That's why we're here. We need to ask a favour. Would you be interested in looking after some more animals? We have a pride of lions, zebra, a whole host of other animals that need to be rehomed. Yeah, why not? It'd be good to boost the animal population. Uh, just until we get back on our feet. Yeah, no problem, no problem. In return, though, would you look at a baby rhino for me? Mother was killed and something not right with him. Oh, of course. Is this the one that was orphaned because of last night's attack? No. We had another attack just after we left you this morning. Here, I'll show you. This is the fella. The other one seems fine. Whereas we're not sure what's wrong with him. It's pretty bad diarrhea. Did you say you'd contacted the state vet about the poachers? Nah, state vet's away. He's always away, apparently. Police are doing what they can, but by the time they get to us, the poachers are long gone. Oh, my rangers reckon that they were in and out 20 minutes. What have you tried giving him? Been bottle feeding cow's milk. The other one seems fine in it, but he just regurgitates it. I'll take blood and still samples, put him on a course of probiotics. What do you think it's serious? It could be. He may have picked up an infection, but young rhinos are susceptible to stress. Was he around when his mother was killed? Well, we found him standing beside her. Her horn had been severed with a chainsaw. Rick, do you know anything about the gang behind the poaching? No. So what's to stop them coming back again and again till they've slaughtered them all? Nothing at all. That's barbaric. Yes, it is. And they're getting bolder. And they didn't even shoot the one they attacked. Couldn't find a bullet wound. Have you moved the corpse? Not yet. Can I see it? Yeah. Bring in extra security. Well, Bell is between owners at the moment, so there's no cash flow. That's why our vet left. There's no one around making the key decisions, and, well, I think the poachers know it. So you're sitting ducks. You need all the support you can get. People like us was rally around. But what do you think? It was poisoned. No, I don't know what they did. This one wasn't even dead when they severed the horn. She was still alive when we got to her. <laughs> Just. So it could have been an opportunistic attack. They come across an ailing rhino, they don't need to shoot it. Why should that matter? Well, if Mum here was sick, then her orphan could have the same illness. We don't want to risk him passing it on. I'll take blood and tissue samples here as well. It'll take a few days to come through, though. Oh, I'm beginning to feel like a pet cushion. What did you inject me with? Every antibiotic I can lay my hands on. Don't you use that on elephants? <laughs> How's my fearless warrior? Her wounds are infected. Oh, no. Oh, they're mildly irritated, that's all. Alice has given me antibiotics. I'm sure they'll do the trick. Even if they do, Caroline, you need to take it easy. I will. Seems sensible to me. No, I think the UK's a good idea. Well, if you won't go with her, maybe I should. If you do that, you may not be able to get back before the baby's born. So? Maybe we just stay there and have the baby? Well, I have to go too. <laughs> you, my friend, are going nowhere. Look, you don't have to come now. You know, it's not about you and me. No, it's about me. And, and you, you all seem to be forgetting something. I'm not going anywhere, and that's final. Danny, it's still no sign of live. 
I know where she might be. Do you come to? You sure she'll be here? Yeah. She sometimes comes here to be close to her mum. Liv! Keep it down, will you? If we get caught, we'll be thrown straight in jail. Dobber. We found her. She's at Sarah's grave. Everything will be okay, won't it? I think so. I hope so. I have to weigh everything up and then show some metal. Do. Dig deep. Have some backbone. Sorry. Carry on. I won't listen. Good. I'm worried about you, Gran. I know. Caroline will be fine. And you need somewhere to. No, no, no. I've got Tarbo. You needn't worry about me. My job to worry about you. You're my girl. She said she has Tarbo. Dup, I thought you weren't listening. The wind is blowing this way. Anyway, it's ready. Oh. You okay? Oh, yes. Oh, I think your elephant pills are kicking in. <laughs> Get a line. Caroline, what the hell's going on? I tried to stop her. To... I said you weren't to come, woman. Yes, you did, Anders. What of it? There's a ball in the come where he was young. It's a graf in the grass. It's a fall in the trant. It is all. It's an exile return. Where the seed rear. It's a grave in the grass. It's a falling tear. That's all. That's lovely, Anders. It's from my school days. Oh, no! It's all right. I'm okay. Easy, easy. I'm okay. I just went... I just went a little dizzy. It's no big deal. No, you need to go to hospital now. When you come out, you need to go to England. We should all stick together. We should all go. I agree. No, I've told you all. I... Uh, 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 I'm not going anywhere. And I'm definitely not going to England without hunters. Caroline, they're right. You must go. I will come with you. 